tired of the blue and white layout of the notification panel where you can change the color and the icons layout with quick star module Hey everyone this is Sherry and welcome back to my channel today we will be looking at the quick star module by good log download nice log from play store and install the quick star module all right now open up quick star and turn that module on on the top you can see the option style your own quick panel in the latest update they moved that to theme park module so you would need that one too i will leave the link of theme park video in the description down below okay so once you open this up you can see that we can create our own theme and also use the recommended ones you can create custom themes here in quick star module but if you want to use the recommended themes you need to download theme park click on the plus icon and in here we have a lot of options let's start from the top on the top right we have three icons first one is a toggle of light and dark mode so you can create themes for both modes next we have the preview button you can tap on it to see how your theme looks and then we have the option to download the theme under that we have our quick panel in this section you can see a bunch of red circles which indicates the section of quick panel that we are working on so let's say if I tap on this circle and select this color, you can see how it's changing in the notification panel. Same goes for every other section. You can create the themes that goes with your wallpaper, etc. Okay, next thing we have is the color palette. In here on the left side, you can choose any color and you will get a set of options for that color. That goes both for light and dark mode. And under that, you can set the blur levels of the notification panel. At bottom you can see an arrow, if you tap on it you can see two options for brightness slider which means we can change the colors of slider as well, it shouldn't even match the colors of panel. Once we are done, download the theme and then we can activate it from the style panel. Now let's choose something from recommended theme section, uh, once we choose a theme it will download it using theme park and apply it to our notification panel. Ok now let's go back and next we have the visibility of indicator icons. On top we have network information section. So if you have your network info turned on from the system settings you can choose where to actually display that information and where to hide it. So let's say if I want the network information to show only in expanded panel then I will turn off home screen and lock screen. Next we can actually turn on and off the system icons. So if I don't want to see my network signals in the notification tray I can turn that off and it won't show in the tray or panel. Let's go back and next option is clock settings. In here you can set the visibility of AM and PM which won't show in the default mode if the quick star is turned off. And we can also change the position of clock from left to right or even hide it. Next we can use that option to align our notifications according to the last update so the latest notification will be shown at the top. Next is the show quick button grid. Let's turn that on and then open notification panel. On the top right tap on the three icons and at the bottom of the list we can see the button grid option. Tap on it and here we can actually change the grid in expanded notification panel mode. If I use white it will show the icons in three columns. In the middle we have the default option of four columns and in narrow we can actually display up to five columns. And the last option is open quick panel directly. What that does is that it divides the swipe area for notifications and quick settings. So if I drag the slider you can see the blue color on the notification tray indicating the area. On default we have 50% on the left side for notification and 50% on the right for quick settings. Now if I swipe from the left side of the notch it will open up the notifications panel but if I swipe from the right side of the notch it will open quick settings panel. Alright if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below or join my discord server. I hope you have already subscribed to leave a like for the video if you find it useful. Thanks a lot for watching you guys take care and stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.